The seven consecutive winning streak was also marked by three losses. The 15-time major champion himself believed his chances to catch Byron Nelson ended when he lost at the SheBC World Match Play Championship. The veteran also had a five-consecutive winning streak the very next season. But that time, his PGA Tour stretch stopped only at five. Nelly Korda, seen from that angle, is on par with Tiger Woods. But that's just one part of the story, as fans point out. To be compared to the 48-year-old, Korda first had to carry this forward to the next season, and the next and the next until 10 years. What does it take to scale Mount Woods? What does it take to be Tiger Woods? The world number one on the men's side got a hint at the Arnold Palmer Invitational. A fan commended Scotty Scheffler for his blistering form, but also shouted that he needed to maintain this for a decade to match Woods. Interestingly, some believed that the Woods Korda comparison ignores the great Annika Sorenstam. The Norwegian had 97 career victories. Moreover, she still holds the record for the lowest round ever scored in the LGA Tour, 13 under 59. Predictably, a comparison between Nelly Korda and Scotty Scheffler was also on the cards. While others thought the 25 year old might be in better form than Scheffler, the reigning Masters champion's scoring average is 67.46, compared to Korda's 69.217. The 13 time LGA Tour winner's GER percentage stands at 75.9. Scheffler, meanwhile, is at 74.76%. Some believe Scheffler is the male Nelly. Another, too, commented the female Tiger is Annika, but Nelly is rolling right now and may be the best golfer male or female on the planet right now. Tiger Woods, for one, cared little about catching Byron Nelson's record of winning 11 consecutive titles. Rather, his sole aim was on Jack Nicklaus's 18 majors. Nelly Korda thought it was as good a time as any to catch some breath. She has pulled out of the JM Eagle LA Championship.